Welcome back YouTubers, this is Daniel Strong with another exciting uh, YouTube video of Excel VBA is fun. We're going to talk about declaring variables today. What is a declaration of a variable and what does it do? Well, when you're declaring a variable, you're telling Excel what these variables that we've set out that, uh, that can change, what type of variable they are. So, for example, um, we have last row. Uh, we have X, so let's declare them. We're going to say dim last row as long. And a long is just uh, is typically a whole number. So we're saying this is not uh, going to be a 3.1. It's going to be either 3 or row 4 or row 5 or 6 or whatever. And X is going to be, uh, we could put a comma here, and we could say X as long as well. Um, you can do that with commas if you want to save some space, uh, or you can just start off a new line with dim x as long. Okay, so we've declared that x is going to be a whole number, and in this case it's from 2 to 500. The last row is going to be a whole number because it's a row number. There's no point or decimals in row numbers. I don't typically use those too often. You can. In fact, some people will force themselves to you to declare every single solitary variable even if they have hundreds on one little macro by saying option explicit and that basically tells L or tells Excel to bug the crap out of you if you don't declare every little thing and gives you errors and kind of annoying um, some people will be sticklers for that and they'll probably frown upon me not um, con condoning it completely. I don't do that. I'll tell you what I do declare is worksheets because, and there's a reason behind it. If I debug this code here, here's where it clears out the last report right there. Um, you'll see that uh, even after I have got a value in this workbook.sheets, my report, and the cell that is um, x comma 1, which is 2 comma 1. Okay. Um, row 2 one uh, column one is a, so that's a two. Uh, if I hover over here, it does not tell me what the value that's in there. Uh, but if you declare your sheet and you start abbreviating everything and set it uh, set it up right, you'll be able to see the value, and that becomes invaluable to you later. I'll show you why. Here's how you do it. Let's say we're going to declare or dim space. Uh, we're, we'll call this M R for my report M R sheet. Let's say dim MR sheet as worksheet. And I'll hit tab to auto complete the word worksheet. So MR sheet is henceforth going to be considered a worksheet if anytime Excel sees MR sheet. Um, we're going even now we're going to set MR sheet equals this workbook dot sheets my report. You've seen this before in the last video. So we're going to set up Excel always knows not only that it's a worksheet, but we're specifically setting MR sheet as an object that will represent this workbook dot sheets my report. So let's do that. Let's do a massive uh, replace here. Find and replace. Control F for find, and we'll specifically click on replace. We want to find any and all instances of this workbook dot sheets uh, my report yeah, within the selected area, and we'll replace that with MR sheet. Let's do it one at a time. I would click replace all, but I want you to see this. Replacing that right there, replacing that, MR sheet, MR sheet, MR sheet, MR sheet, MR sheet. Oh, that's done. Um, you see it takes a lot less space. It's easier on the eyes, but here's the cool part. As I'm debugging through, um, it takes on the place of this huge string of text. MR sheet dot range, blah, 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 clear contents for X equals two to 500, starting with two. MR sheet cells blah blah blah. If I hover over it, nothing yet, but as there's a value now right there, if I hover over it, it'll tell me what it is. It's the date uh, February 28th. Um, so as you see, I'm hovering over these and they're showing me the value. Pretty cool. Very useful.
especially later whenever you start using Excel to or VBA to analyze huge databases with worth of information maybe to run a filter maybe to analyze uh, data and count something special so uh, it's pretty useful so um, I'm gonna hit F5 so we have a whole sheet here now one other thing that's useful once you have declared your um, declared your sheet and set it up is uh, as you're typing it will actually start auto expanding so MR sheet as soon as I hit dot it's going to start it's going to treat that as a worksheet object specifically my report worksheet and so when I hit dot if I hit R it's going to assume I want range and I can just hit tab immediately or MR sheet dot CEL it knows I want cells so I can already hit the open parentheses it'll auto complete the word cells and let me start typing so very useful MR sheet dot P R I N T P print preview okay well, let's see what happens there a little crazy clear the last report um, oh X doesn't have a value whoops X equals 1 let me backtrack here so X if X is 1 then MR sheet cells X comma 1 equals blah that's going to be that right there and now MR sheet dot print preview it will not run any more code until it has run the print preview of that sheet so oh here's a print preview what do you know close that and now we're ready to debug the rest of the code so at full pace here's what would happen I would hit alt F8 and we'll run the one called test 1 run see it put blah in there as soon as I close the print preview it's going to run the rest of the code and if I hit print preview it looks a little different than last time so that's pretty cool um, that you can declare a variable and immediately after you type this for the MR sheet and hit the dot it will start auto completing and giving you a big list so there's some more benefits of doing it that way so I recommend you given it works if you have several worksheets you want to give them a familiar name like MR sheet for my report and then maybe you know something else whatever works for you some people just do WS dim WS as worksheet and they say WS is blah 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 dot my report you know because they only have one worksheet and they want to type WS dot blah 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 and Excel will treat that the same way thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time God bless